Hello, all my very friends. Wow. So here we are. And oh, I have to turn the sound on this off. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. I'm really excited. I've been waiting all week to do this unboxing. And I hope my light is a little bit better. I'm still waiting for my official LED to come in so I can set it up and try to get uh, get it corrected, but I hope that some of the shadow right now is gone. So I have these two uh, things that I'm going to unbox with you. And then in here, we are going to do the drawing for this Gryffindor quill pen. Oh, wow, the lighting is super better. Okay, so I will, you can really see it now. I will just go ahead and set this aside for right now. And we will get to the unboxing. I had to wait all week to do this because they were coming from such a long way being the land of Amazon. So as you know though, I love to receive snail mail and I love especially to open it. Now I don't know where the scissors are. So uh, I it seems I've got a little case of uh, the hobgoblins around here who have absconded with them for some purpose that I do not yet know and haven't returned them. So they're around somewhere, but not anywhere convenient. Thus, I'm using a knife. So this is unboxing number one. This book is The Lore of Proserpine, and it is a... It, it is a person's real life account of their their experience with fairies and in the land of fae. It's sort of a, it's by Maurice Hewitt, Hewlett, Hewlett, I said that wrong. It's by Maurice Hewlett and it's something of an antiquated text. You can see this is this is going to be something of a thick read, I think, even though it's a thin little book because that is very small writing and it's very compact. But I'm looking forward to this. Now, I was introduced to this when I got to digging around in some research uh, on, I, so I am a member of the Fairy Investigation Society and you too can become a member of the Fairy Investigation Society as well. Perhaps I'll leave a link to that in the low bar when I'm done. However. Uh, I got to digging around in some of their archives of various works, which is where I discovered this. And I was able to find it on uh, on the interwebs. And so I ordered it. I'm very excited to kind of delve into that. Now, here is box number two, which I suspect has multiple items in it. This isn't even a good tool for opening this. This was supposed to come yesterday, but it didn't. And then I had to wait a whole extra day. Okay. Ooh, that looks sad. So we'll do the quick one first. And the quick and, um, wow, the really quick one, but not so fun. I ordered a stamp pad. I expected this stamp pad to be actually this big. It is apparently quite small. That is very disappointing. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's one of the items that was in there. Okay. Item number two. Chupacabra! This guy will go into my creature collection. No, Chupacabra! I'm just going to open him right up. Aww. I love my creature collection. I love Chupacabra too because this is a this is a new world sort of fairy tale creature. Uh, people always think that fairy tales are all about the old world and they're not. And so I really like this guy. He's He's kind of one of my favorites. He's up there with Bigfoot and Paul Bunyan. I really like those guys as well. Sort of some North American New World fairy tales. Okay, this is what I've been waiting for this whole time. Not that. This. 
a friend suggested this book to me, and so I decided to go out in search of it and see what was inside. It is called Fairy Craft, and it is working with the fairy realm uh, in order to do various magics. So I am pretty excited to look into this. Ooh, the Great Glyph of the She. That is exactly the page I opened to. And I even have fairy glyph workshops here on my channel. So that seems appropriate. Look, the magic is already, it's already working. This is very cool. I'm going to have to go through this and maybe pick some things out and uh, cover them in some workshops here on my channel. So that will be exciting. Let's see. Let's open to a page. So it looks like it is all black and white here. There are illustrations, but the whole book is black and white. And it didn't come, as far as I could tell, in a hardcover. I try. I usually try to find things in hardcover, but that wasn't really an option. I'll just flip through some of this for you guys so you can see. And let me just open really quickly. Oh, I like this. So the, to the front cover. Front cover has the fairy star here at the beginning and a young fairy off on the path to cross the hedge. This is by Emily Carding. And I will, so, I'm just, uh, it doesn't look like there are too many chapters. So chapter one, knowledge. Chapter two is connection. Chapter three is trust. And four is honor. Five is magic. And it looks like six is joy. And seven is inspiration. And eight is, I can't read that backwards from this far away, balance. <laughs> so these, it looks like these are the biggest chapters. And then maybe with some poetry in here, maybe a short story. So this looks like it, it could be quite an interesting event. I see we've got some faces in here looking like they're from some of the some of the fairy events in the old world Albion if you will oh yes there are all kinds plenty of pictures fairy clothing how to join the community etc etc okay so now I'm going to go ahead I'll show you them this is uh, Fairy Craft by Emily Carding. There's the back. It's actually a rather pretty book. There are definitely importance of the moon, calling the seven directions, creating sacred spaces. There are some things in here we can definitely go over together in some upcoming work workshops. So that is exciting. Ooh, see that light. Better lighting, but quite bright. So hopefully when the, when the other one gets here. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the drawing. This was my prototype Gryffindor quill. It comes with scented dragon's blood ink. It's burgundy ink, smells like dragon's blood. This is a turkey quill with a pheasant feather and a steel nib here on the end. And everybody who liked, comment, and subscribed uh, has been entered into the strawberry. And this is what the inside looks like, has a little descriptor with the keywords of uh, Gryffindor. The qualities are courage, daring, and chivalry. So I shall now shake the strawberry. Do you hear your names in there? Okay. Now, 
let's see, here, take the top off, make sure everybody's in there. Mix it all up very, very well. And we'll get this one right here. This is now. Please forgive me if I don't read this. Some handles out there are awkward. This is for S. Voss. S. Voss have won the uh, uh, the Gryffindor quill pen. Congratulations to you. I will, of course, have to get into contact with you so that I can get your snail mail address and put that in the snail mail. S. Voss, you are the winner of the Gryffindor pen. Congratulations. And that is all that I have for you guys this evening. Thank you so much for joining me. We uh, surpassed 500 and in the time that we started this giveaway, this drawing here, we have grown another 130 or so. So we're at about 630. The next goal is 1000 and when I get there, I think I'll do another drawing. Not sure what for yet. But I will, and we'll find something good, of course. I have goodies all around. So have a good evening. Oh, have a good weekend, everybody. And happy Sakura Moon. It is March 1st. As you can see, I have the green going. So I will bid you all adieu. And, oh, I should say, speaking of March, though, it green for leprechauns, you know. Uh, I on the Leprechaun and I are planning a, an excursion in the kingdom of apples lit at the very end of this moon. So I hope that if you watched the Manresa Castle fairy travel vlog, you guys enjoyed that. And I hope that you saw the secret tour of the dungeon and the castle that the secondary castle that Gunther the Troll and I found on our way. We stumbled upon an extra. So if you uh, are Patreon on my Patreon channel, you have access to see the secret tour. Check it out. It's super good. And we're looking at doing another one here at the end of this moon. Now, I actually bid you all <laughs> adieu. Well, good evening, both hello and goodbye all at once. So have a good night, everybody.